Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the Sin Channel. I just want to say a few quick things before we get into the video. First off is that we do have a giveaway on our Instagram page. I will be giving away two long sleeves. So if you want to check that out, uh, my Instagram is in the description below. Another thing I want to say before I start is that these videos are entirely my own opinion. If you have a different opinion to me, that's totally cool. And if you want to express that opinion, just hit me up in the comments and we can have a chat about it. But yeah, let's get on with the video. So today, Aiden and I went down to Taylor's Hill Skate Park. I wasn't too sure about this skate park at the start because I've been there before, but only on a skateboard. And let's be honest, I'm not great at skating. But man, was it a good session. It was a sick session. I love this skate park. It is so sick. But yeah, we'll get a little bit more into that, why I think it's sick later. And we'll just jump into the review right now. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the bowl. The bowl's are uh, pretty dope. It is quite tight though. It's pretty quick to hit each quarter. For skaters and scooters, it might be a little bit better. All the quarters around the smaller ones, uh, disregarding the two oververts, are probably about four to five foot. They feel pretty good. The coping is really good as well. They are kind of steep, so it can be a little bit off-putting if it's too steep and too tight. It's not really. It's kind of just like works, you know what I mean? It can be a little bit more difficult to do tricks sometimes, but all in all, I, I think it still feels pretty good. The spine in the middle is, you know, four to five foot again. It does have a double rail on the top, which I don't prefer. I prefer it just to be a single rail, just because it feels, I don't know, it just kind of feels better when you jump it. The two oververts in the bowl are super steep. Like they are really, really steep. If you're trying to air it and you don't like steep things, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> like I tried it and I didn't really like it that much because yeah, it's pretty oververt. Aiden managed to do like a trick on it, like a, a double peg saw. So for things like that, it is good. The quarter in between the two oververts as well is very vert compared to the rest of the bowl. It's fine though to drop in on and stuff. On the right side, one of the quarters is more of a like pocket and the other one is just like a straight quarter. I found it good to like do manual tricks from the pocket straight into that quarter. They both feel pretty good. And, and once you figure out the bowl, like, how to get a bit of flow. It's actually really good to like hit this section. Well, the bowl is pretty decent. Let's get on to the next thing in the skate park. So next to the bowl, there is two ledges. One of them is pretty damn steep and the other one, not so much. The one on the, well, looking at the photo, on the left side goes into a bank as well. It's a little bit easier. The other one is just straight like to the ground. Long ledge, you can get a good trick on, enough time to combo and stuff. Most of the things to grind on at the park feel really good as well. But yeah, all in all, two good ledges. Also on the bowl, there is this big three stair. It's not really that long. So to jump down it, it's all right. Obviously still high impact. The run up isn't so great for it, but you can still manage to get a decent run up for it. So if you did want to hit that, you know, there's concrete after it, it's fine. There's nothing in the way, but yeah, cool three stair if you want something high, but that's, you know, you don't have to jump too far. So if you want to trick down this thing, it'd be sick. I've seen skater scooters and bike riders hit it. So good for like all sports. So next to the ledges that I just spoke about before, there is a bank that goes literally all the way down and then it goes like into the water section. The bank feels pretty good. It's not really that slippery. It's good to do like tricks on. You can even transfer from the, the top part straight into the bank that's at the lower. Not too steep, it's just right. Like it, it actually feels really good. So if you wanna do some bank stuff, recommended. Halfway down, there is this flat rail. You can hit it both ways. Like if you wanna jump up from the bank or down it, it's good both ways. Just a standard flat rail, it feels pretty good. It's not too high off the ground, maybe like two, three feet off the ground. So if you're too scared to hit like rails that are higher, then I definitely recommend hitting this first and learning on it because there's nothing in the way. It's just in a good spot. So on that bank that continues all the way down to the quarters, there is some stairs. So if you want to jump over those and trick over them, you can. You can also do like grinds on them because they do have like a little metal on the edge, like ledges. So you can grind them, like maybe better for like skaters or scooters. On bikes, you would definitely um, wouldn't be able to grind it because it's too low. It is a little bit misleading um, for the distance, I feel. So you got to hit it a little bit faster than you would initially think. Near that stair set, there's this hill. Hip. It's a pretty fun hip, feels real good. It's just one of those hips, you know what I mean? Like it's a small hip, but it's actually like a lot of fun to ride. Easy to do tricks over, really good to get pop on as well. You can get heaps of speed from it and you can uh, do lines from hitting this and then other obstacles in the park. Just next to that hip, there is another down ledge. Um, you can hit it both ways. So if you want to hit the top, you can and continue on in a line or if you want to hit the down and also continue on on the line, you know, quarters or ledges. So you got the best of both worlds right there. It's not too high, not too small. And um, you know, it's not too steep either it's just like a good ledge yeah. moving on to the quarters at the back we'll start off on the side there is it's like a bank kind of part except it's you know kind of like a quarter though as well i jumped into it to the left it feels pretty good the only issue with this is like there's not much room after it so if you were to hit it like big or something and go fast 
there's like some bins there and there's just not a lot of room but it does feel good to hit so if you want to hit it go nuts like it actually feels kind of cool just fun to jump over connected to that part the quarter that you jump into probably about four to five foot feels really good the coping's mad it's not too steep not too mellow it's just like that right kind of steepness there is a big flat section up the top as well so you can do some fly out tricks there if you want to practice quarter on the other side of it feels really good as well it feels pretty much the same as the other one connected to those two quarters there is a hip and uh, this hip is absolutely amazing. It just feels really, really good. Instead of coming into a point kind of like that and being like quarter to quarter, it is a rounded hip. So if you case, it doesn't really matter too much. This hip just feels really good to jump. If you haven't really ridden a hip before, this is really good like stepping stone. So I definitely recommend hitting this thing. Uh, on the other side of that, we have another quarter. You can hit it flat as well. This quarter is a little bit more mellow though. It feels pretty good to be honest, because if you want to do different tricks that you don't need as much, pop four you can hit this quarter and then the other one being steeper so you can do different tricks if you prefer to do them on a more mellower quarter or a steeper quarter so I found that really fun to do like different tricks and different lines in next to that there's like this little other hip you know you can jump it to the right or the left so if you jump it to the right you'll be jumping it into the bank um, it feels pretty good as well it's just it, it just feels right man like to be honest it's just not too steep not too mellow and you can like 270 into this whatever you want to do it feels great so the last part of that half bowl there's uh, a more vert section at the back that's probably about six six and a half feet high it is a lot steeper but it's still not like ridiculous like when you hit it and you just feel like you're going up a 90 degree wall even if you want to do air tricks in the middle of it you got a massive run up and you can air as high as you want and it feels really good as well so really good half ball. Okay, we're moving over to the small straight section now. It's pretty much two ledges joined together, really. If you look at it and if you had a line through the middle of it, it's two ledges put together. It's kind of cool, kind of quirky design. A really good ledge. Uh, it's a good height. It's not too high, but it's not too low either. It's just like that right height. And if you want to practice on this, like maybe skaters, if you on an ollie on something massive this is really good hitting it both sides feels great um, and it's good because it's all in one big line as well just after that we have a four stair and we have two ledges on the sides of it so the two ledges connected to the four stair are super mellow they're a perfect height they're a, they're a pretty good length as well and to practice on this is probably one of the best things you could uh, find so I really recommend it the four stair is super mellow it's not really that long either so it's perfect for people who want to practice on stair sets I definitely recommend it if you haven't hit stair sets before that's pretty much the whole skate park so here's some clips of Aiden and myself riding it I hope you enjoy I know, something only I know I got superpowers, but that's something only I know What I want is mine, if I say it in my mind I'll teach you if I had time, yeah Do I got the time, no Shit these niggas dream about is not even a milestone Call up Dr. Seuss, I think they running out of rhymes, no Jugging and finessing, we've heard that a hundred times, no Niggas keep repeating, they so like they in a vine In a vine, in a vine, no Why they gotta lie, no Say them diamonds dancing, homie that is rhinestones I don't got a Rari But my whip is really mine now I don't got no thotties But I know my bitch is fine now I'm from California You can tell just by my vans My niggas about it You can tell just by his stance Don't throw no subliminals Or he'll be throwing hands My bro bro play baseball I hope you know how to catch I just heard my kill Oh, they know I'm up next Ah, oh, curly had a kill, kill She sent me the text mm. Yeah, I've been the dude, dude Since I made a YouTube Fuck a million views, need a view Somewhere floating like I'm you too Zone in California on a mountain, higher with my main thing, she keep me grounded. Don't test her, she with the extras. Read all about it, you bout it. I really doubt it, I really doubt it. Zone it in California. On So that was Taylor's Hill Skate Park. I will be giving you a few quick reasons why I really like this skate park. So first off, pretty much everything you can hit in this skate park, you can turn it into a line. Like it's perfect. You can 
hit four or five obstacles if you want coming from either side it really doesn't matter pretty much everything there feels really good like to me anyways i personally think this skate park was built like so good and i've just been doing this for like 20 minutes what the fuck am i doing <laughs> I had a super fun session there today. I will be rating it four and a half stars out of five. I absolutely love this place. I definitely recommend going there if you get the chance. It's just good. It has like everything there that you need. It feels great. Good for all kinds of sports. So, you know, scooters, bikes, whatever skating you know so definitely recommend going there if you get the chance i hope this video gave you guys some more insight on taylor's hill skate park if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit us up in the comment section if you want to have a discussion about what we've said today and also if you want to get notified when i release new videos just hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace